Okay, so I decided to redo my kitchen DNA extraction experiment. Here I have uh, 20 milliliters of distilled water with 1.5 grams of sodium chloride. That is just table salt, sodium chloride, and 100 milliliters of distilled water with uh, sodium chloride and another 100 milliliters of water with the sodium chloride. I will gargle this solution and uh, see how well I can extract DNA from my mouth. I will also put blood into those two uh, containers. Last time the blood didn't work all that well. The blood only contains a few cells that have DNA, that is the leukocytes, the erythrocytes like the red blood cells do not contain any DNA, only the white ones. But um, probably I couldn't break them up last time, so I'll try the uh, concentrated salt solution as well. Probably break them up due to osmotic pressure, but maybe this one will work as well. I don't know yet, because this time I also have an enzyme called proteinase K. This enzyme will help to uh, break up proteins and prevent their enrichment when extracting the DNA. So we'll see how well that works. Watch it sucks. Okay, here we go. Blood in the thingy. Ugh, god damn it. Alright, that should probably do. I'm gonna throw out a needle and press. Preferably with a swap. And then see what happens next. Okay, so next I will take these speakers here and put them in about 60 degrees Celsius warm water and uh, slightly heat the mixture of each of these speakers for about 15 minutes. This will actually uh, help to break up the cells and free the DNA, but I need all of my hands for that, so yeah. Okay, so in the next step I cooled down the beakers again with ice cold water because uh, the heat accelerates the release of DNA but also it uh, accelerates the destruction of DNA by denaturation. So um, now I will put these, uh, so these solutions, which I increased to the equal amount of water by the way, because now the uh, release of DNA should be done. Uh, now I will filter the stuff to them. Okay, now I'm going to add the proteinase. And add the dishwashing fluid. Actually, I should have added the dishwashing fluid earlier, like in the beginning of the experiment. But that's what you get for trying to do stuff. Oh, actually having no time. Oh well. <laughs> Never mind. We'll see how it works out. By now, by now pouring the alcohol on it. And that will be some ice cold isopropanol. well, it appears as if it still works. Because all that white stuff you can see up there, especially the DNA, is coming out. I'll try and film it uh, through a magnifying glass. Sure you can see it some better now. Yeah, you can. 
Here you can see those white, white little strands coming up. That's my DNA. It's not so well visible on the blue one, but there's DNA coming up as well. It's just it's much nicer on the blood samples. And I don't know if you can see it, but without a camera it appears that this one contains a little more DNA than this one. And this one was the one I actually put in the very salty water. And this one was uh, the blood sample I put into the 1.5 grams of sodium chloride with uh, 100 milliliter of water, and that was just 20 milliliter of water, in water initially. And that seems to have produced a higher yield. Look at this on the top, you can actually see it quite well. The left one contains slightly more DNA than the right one, I'd say. So, uh, using osmosis to help you break up the cells really works. That's great.